Uh, hello everyone today we will start uh, my last lecture today uh, for modeling using abacus uh, today we will work on numeric modeling of cellular beam so we have an i-beam section and this i-beam section has a dimension of the height 150 with 75 thickness is 5 millimeter and the length of that beam is 2 meter or 2000 uh, millimeter uh, it has a uh, circular holes so it is going to be a cellular beam the diamond diameter of the hole is 75 it's not very clear it's 75 so it's 75 and the dimension the distance between two holes is 112.5 and the dimension of the center of each of the hole to the edge is 100 millimeter the material properties is your modulus 355 and the Poisson ratio sorry and the elastic modulus 20,000 uh, megapascal sorry 200,000 megapascal uh, load is applied it, uh, the beam is simply supported first is simply supporting this point and this point and the load applied in the middle of the beam uh, what you're supposed to do is you assume that the beam is loaded as a displacement control load and uh, on over the area of 75 times 25 millimeter now let's start modeling um, keep in mind that is the section and keep in mind that the diameter of uh, the hole is 75 millimeter okay now let's go to abacus as usual we go to abacus and then we use with the standard explicit go to part manager Cre uh, click on create let's call it as a beam sorry beam it is 3d I will use shell element and extrusion so basically you will create a shell element and extrude it so let's continue now you take uh, create line and then what you can do is you can find out the coordinates so assume the coordinates from here start so you will have 0 0 and uh, the other point is 0 7, uh, 75 0 so it is 0 0 0 point 0 and then uh, 75.0 okay let's cancel uh, we have another point is we have from this here to here I have actually uh, half of 75 which is basically 30 uh, 37.50 so 37.50 and then the coordinate here is 37.5 and 150 okay so again you go to create line connected 37.5 then 0 and then vertically you go uh, 37.5 comma 150 enter now that we create that web and let's cancel the procedure here to cancel here 
and then uh, the last point is this point which is 150 sorry 0 150 coordinate and finally 75 by 100 so now uh, click on the line and then you can say uh, 100 uh, sorry you can say 0 150 enter and finally you will say Z, uh, finally you can say is uh, 75 150 you cancel the procedure now you say done that you create a done and what you want uh, the length of that beam is 2000 which is the depth and then you said ok so now you create that beam now you need to create the holes inside well, there are different ways actually to create a holes inside. Um, you could sketch, or you, you there's many many ways. I will use one of the way why I prefer to use it. Now create a hole again. Create a, a section. So you go to Part Manager, and you go create a call it sir. Uh, here you will a circle is a planar circle it's not extruded it's a planar circle and a 3d shell element and then you continue you pick up on the create circle uh, and the uh, perimeter and you click in here and let's click uh, the center is here and then you need to identify actually from here the actually the radius and basically the radius is 0 sorry uh, 37.5 comma 0 which is uh, finally you will have the diameter is 75 and then cancel the procedure and then say done now you create a circle now in order to create the whole section circle with a beam let's go directly into the assembly this is very uh, this is the way we have to do it you go to assembly and then you click and create instance and you will have independent take the circle and the beam uh, what you notice the circle is stuck into inside the beam so what you have to do actually to avoid this problem because if you accept it you may have a problem to pick up the circle so you go to auto offset from other instances by clicking this uh, the circle will move away from the beam so if you untick it you will see the circle is on the beam and if you auto offset you will have the circle away from the beam and then said ok I accept that um, difficulties actually to find a circle so let's pick up uh, let's rotate click and let's rotate somewhere yeah that is a circle now let's place a circle now the circle is not here actually is the pla plane of the circle is uh, is not on the plane um, of the web so what I have to do then I have to do sir uh, to rotate a circle let's just try to rotate a circle so if you go here uh, into rotate instance if you click on the rotate instance and then you click which one you want to rotate you want to rotate actually the circle you click that and you say done now you will find a new difficulty which is to rotate it which is we cannot rotate it around so we can rotate say let me move it back sorry uh, if we hold on let me cancel it again so click on rotate instance you click on the instance and done 
and then rotate around around Y as you see sorry it's uh, kind of difficult to rotate it now we need to pick up this point and this point I cannot pick it up um, I think you select the point for for the axis of okay what we can do is um It seems to me this is the zero zero coordinate and this is the point where you rotate around it is zero zero and then it's uh, uh, zero uh, 37.5 so I will click on this point and then you click on this point you will enter and the other point to rotate is the uh, other side of the circle which is basically you click here x is 0 but the y is 37.5 so by taking 37.5 you pick up this point from the circle then you said enter and now how much rotation you said 90 you said enter Ah, oh, okay. Now the circle is rotated. Perfect. And then okay, you said okay because this is rotated correctly. Okay, perfect. So now in this way the circle is created, uh, rotated. Now, one other thing is it is rotated. However, let me make sure that it's rotated correctly. So if you click on X, and then you click Z, and then you click here. Yeah, you notice this is line parallel to the web, so it seems that rotated correctly. So the web and the and the circle is parallel. So let's move back. Now, now I need to move it. To be honest, now we need to move the circle. So let's move the circle. Firstly, let's move the circle to the center. To the okay. So you take a translate instance, you click on translate instance and you click on the circle you want to translate it and say OK and you click from the center of the circle into the center of the body of or or in the middle of the whip and you say done now now I need to move the circle from the center from here to the center by about 100 now let's start to do that now if we can move it by click translate instance again and then you click on this one the circle and then done so you want to translate it into 100 millimeter so you start from the here and then we'll ask you the end point which is basically uh, uh, by entering the coordinates if you notice that the other coordinate it should be here which is basically is we need now the difficulty is to find this point so what we can do is let's identify the point so let's cancel this procedure and then let's create a, a dot here so you click on the create datum points and you take the other option will create datum point offset from a point now if you click on this point and you offset in 
in z direction by 100 so this is 100 here you create a point so you can put a circle on that point so you can now translate you click on a translate instance you click on a circle you see done you click from the center of the circle into the datum points and you said done in this way simply that the circle is placed correctly on here now what we will do also we need to find out more circles so how many circles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 17 circle so by taking each circle and place it will be a very long process so one way actually to do is I will use a linear pattern so let's click on a linear pattern for a moment and try to figure out how to use it click it will ask you which one do you need to move yes I want to move this or I want to have a pattern from this and then done now I you you notice now uh, you have you have this direction one and direction two and direction one and direction two so if we click on direction so I would like direction one to be in this direction horizontal so we'll click in a direction let's click any horizontal line here let's for example any line you click this one and then let's cancel this by clicking number one so this is will be gray so I don't have I have only one direction here I don't have in a second direction so if the offset is as you see here is 112.5 so it is 112.5 perfect now it's created so the first step is to create the direction with direction is its direction and the second step is to deactivate the second direction the vertical direction and then you need to make the offset but how many you want? you want 17 almost let me 17 oh sorry 7 uh, perfect so I've got now 70 circle and the same button and he said uh, he said okay so I create 17 circle the same button fine now you can rotate and see that we are doing things correctly final thing is how to create the circles inside now we create circle but how are you gonna have holes in now the way we'll do it is by going to cut and merge instance so we'll click in here let's call this part as cellular beam this part is cellular beam and then I would use the original instance will be deleted and I will use cut geometry okay it's not merge it's a cut geometry so I will delete the original and I will cut the geometry so let's continue it will ask you which instant you want to cut of course I want this web to cut and then I ask you which one which uh, instant will make a cut now press shift to select the whole circle and then you click on each circle and then done that is we created now the circle the cellular beam now if you go to the part you notice that we create a new part here so this is a new part now if you go to a simply down here you click down here you go to a simply and your instance and you will find your cellular beam okay now 
you go back to you now we finish out how to find cellular beams now I will go into again to the part and will select of course the cellular beam parts that we created from the assembly let's go to material before we go we need to save or before saving we have to go to uh, set directory and let's assume it on uh, C term and send OK and save it here create material create we call it a steel material and uh, mechanical elasticity elastic 20 1 2 3 and poster ratio 0 0.3 go to again to mechanical plasticity and plastic yield the stress is 355 and plastic strain 0 please go to previous lecture or previous video on why it's plastic strain 0 this will represent elastic perfect plastic behavior as in okay and dismiss now let's go into section manager and create uh, and then uh, keep it like this and then go to shell homogeneous continue and the uh, thickness is we have the same thickness the flange and the web so we'll make it 5 millimeter the same thickness and then ok dismiss now I need to assign the section here you go to section management manager you can create you click on that whole beam because all they have the same thickness and then ok and you said ok and done if you go to assembly you will find your model if you go to step and you go to create a step manager and then create and then use uh, static general and continue since we are doing plastic analysis and until high deformation we must use nonlinear geometry and please go and study a bit about nonlinear geometry in in abacus so you need to tick on because the applied deformation is high enough to consider that the beam is under nonlinear geometry so we tick it on go to incrementation we don't need to apply the load uh, as a full load I need initially to apply a load by about 1% of the load to apply it initially and maximum value of the load is uh, 0 0.5 so in each increment in each increment this the maximum value is 0 0.5 times the load uh, applied and the minimum is uh, 10 power minus 5 times the load is a minimum value of the load and then ok dismiss now if you go now to loads and then let's go into boundary condition manager boundary condition manager click now I need to create a boundary condition on here and there so if you go to create and then let's create the boundary condition here let's call boundary condition or let's call uh, let's call let's assume here a bent bent joint boundary condition and here a roller so let's do now first is a roller here so let's call it roller so let's 
So you go to supplement rotation and then continue. Let's go here. Zoom it and then click here. Shift click and then done. Now we are doing here the ruler so it is allowed to move in the z direction but it's not allowed to move in a vertical or horizontal in this direction or this direction but it's allowed in the direction and allowed rotations I said okay now I need to find out I need to put the boundary condition on this point here so again create and we call it pin pin boundary condition you choose uh, displacement rotation and then continue and you click here shift press shift in the keyboard and then the click again and then done uh, here the pin so it does not allow us to do uh, to to translate in x y and z what is allowing us to do to rotate and then okay one last thing is we need to apply a load now the load application it should be at the middle of the beam and over the area of 25 in this direction 75 in this direction now we need to create that loading pad so it's like a loading pad in experiment so I need to find out how to 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 have this cut here I will do that let's dismiss this I will do that using partition so before we go to partition let's create what we call it here a datum plane a datum plane so if you click on a datum plane you, you click and you hold and you go to the second option with a datum plane for a plane let me try this uh, or uh, I think it's best to take, to take the third option which is datum plane from three points so let's click here now you need firstly to create this is a middle of the beam let's create from three points uh, which uh, three points here so this is a first point this is a second point and this is a third point now we create a plane and this plane is exactly in the middle of the beam let offset from that plane from here to here by 12.5 and from here to here 12.5 12.5 because in total will be 25 that the, the width of the uh, loading area so let's go again to create datum plane hold click and hold and take the option create datum plane offset from plane and then you, you release and then you click on this previous plane and then ask to create to enter a value so ask to not select the point enter a value here have to enter the value and in this direction in this direction take 20 12.5 so you need to not do to flip or keep it okay and then to say 12.5 and then enter so you create another one so if you need to create a second one in the left hand side so you again you click on that middle plane and ask him to uh, uh, tell him you want to find a volume uh, give a, vo a volume you click and you don't need it to the left right you need it to the left so you click on flip and then you said okay so I want a 12.5 and then okay now that you uh, create a plan and then you cancel procedure because we ended now we only create a plane we didn't create any any area yet so in order to create this area you need to partition this part away so you go into partition face you click and hold and you go into yeah 
partition face using datum plane you release it a third option uh, I think cannot yeah heat asked tell you it's a dependent part instant cannot be edited so what you have to do you need to make it independent so you dismiss and you go into your assembly under the instance there is a cellular beam right click and make independent make independent now you can partition so you go again and hold and take the third option and you click on the top flange and click shift on the second part of the flange and say done you click on the right plane and say create partition again you repeat the same process you click on the flange key shift another flange and then done and then you you told you you select the detium plane you click on the detium plane and say create partition and you say done now you create this area this is the loading area basically this is your loading area now what you can do is you go into your boundary condition manager you go into create you go into here loading and create displacement rotation and continue and select this area control and this area which is has a dimension of 22 and 25 and 75 and then ok uh, you want the displacement in the y direction let's say this is displacement y direction let's say it's for about let's say about 5 mil uh, five, about 10 millimeter let's say let's start with 10 millimeter okay and then or oh, 15 millimeter let 50 millimeter for example it's a bit high so you just 10 millimeter and then okay Oh, sorry this is goes up so you don't need it so I double click again it is minus 10 millimeter and say okay so you have a load push down and dismiss save and then what you can do is you go again into mesh you you click on seed part instance and let's get a seed part of about 10 and just apply and the C it seems okay but it's high it is seeding so let's let's just use 715 and then apply it seems fine the number of elements should be fine and the number of good number here and so said okay you go into your mesh part instance and you said yes let it automatically okay now it is seeded and you have a mesh okay now you go into assign element type and you select the beam I said done and after that you untick this because you want S4 as requested and said okay and okay finally you go and you create a job job create let's call it as a test and then continue and then ok and submit it and, and then you said ok and wait for the analysis to finish it will take some time since it is a big model
let's see finish this mess let's get the result and let's click on plot contour it seems not is not fully yeah that's uh, that's fine uh, to me I think need displacement to be more however this is stress distribution so I'm looking into all the areas to plastify so plasticity so let's go again to the load click on boundary condition manager double click on the loading I would put 50 millimeter and say ok dismiss let's increase it uh, then job and resubmit the same model and say ok Okay, let's finish this mess and then let's get the result. Now click on the form shape and then let's see. Good, perfect. I just have a doubt or something here. I just want to check something. No. Now to find out the load deflection relationship, you go, uh, you go into tool, XY data, manager, create, ODB file output, continue go to unique node uh, go to reaction force it's in y direction and then go to nodal here now it's a bit difficult to find out which one so if you go to node set and you click on the highlight item and let's click here ah, okay it is this applied load here so I think this is a one and then you save then okay create XY data operate continue you click here you go down 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 here you will find say so some and you highlight all and you add it to expression divided by thousand to make it 
and kilonewton and multiply by minus one to make it in positive because this is the load is goes down so in the save call it four and then okay you cancel here so you delete everything except for the force and then now you need to have the displacement and somewhere maybe in this no node so you're going to create xy data uh, odb file output continue and variable is not rf will be displacement in second direction uh, which is in u2 to into a new i and then cl click from viewport you click on that particular point and say ok done here and then save and ok now let's double click here and here and get it to excel sheet Now double click on displacement. I take click copy, paste. This is negative. Let's make it positive. Okay. Now let's go again to the fourth. Or copy and back and paste. Okay, now the load deflection relationship you get the whole things here and then uh, insert scatter on this one. Excellent. Now, seems to me the ultimate load is here, just about. 65.25 kilonewton okay now next week maybe we will do uh, include some imperfection into this model um, thank you very much